The East African Legislative Assembly is set to debate the East African Community Sexual and Reproductive Health Rights Bill 2017 in Ikigari, Rwanda. The bill seeks to provide a legal framework on sexual and reproductive health and also protect children and young persons from sexual abuse and other forms of exploitation. Health activists in the region are concerned that the bill discriminates against homosexuals and lesbians, including but not limited to race, sex, sexual orientation, gender, pregnancy, maternal status, health status, ethical and non-social origin. Under the umbrella body, the East African National Network for AIDS and Health Services Organization, IANASO, they made a speaker Dan Fred Kidega and the Allies Committee on Regional Purpose to give their input on the proposed regional law. The main is not to promote themselves as homosexuality, is only to, to, to have how we can reduce infection, HIV infection, because they, they, they work with uh, men, sex, sex with men, and, but also they are in our communities. However, the request by activists to have this proposal be part of the bill was met with caution. You know some politicians are not very comfortable working with civil society for reasons that you may also know that some of you carry agenda which is not ours. We fear to put that. We don't want uh, homosexuals to be discriminated. We don't want them. Personally, I'm a medical doctor. I wouldn't wish that a person is excluded because of the sexual orientation. But you know that some of our countries have put even in place laws to prohibit homosexuality. Kidega warned that external forces could use civil society organizations to push for the enactment of laws with provisions that are in contradiction with the culture and the religious beliefs of East Africans. I appeal to you to be sensitive to the needs of our people and desist. Totally avoid being used by other unfriendly organizations that may want to influence our way of life towards a direction that is not reflection of our value system. We will not allow backdoor legislation through YALA that will not reflect the value of our community. But yet we are committed to working with you. To only look for a way to work on health issues, not really to promote them. The bill further proposes that partners shall ensure that pregnant girls have a right to free and compulsory education and shall not be expelled from school or any learning institution as a result of pregnancy. Clause 15 of the bill allows abortion if the life of the pregnant mother is endangered. A trained health personnel may terminate a pregnancy upon consultation with the pregnant woman, such as partner states, shall take measures to protect the reproductive rights of women by authorizing termination of pregnancy in the case of sexual assault, those are our proposals, sexual assault, rape, incest, and where the continued pregnancy endangers the mental and physical health of the mother. The bill proposes disclosure of one's HIV status to a partner. However, the activists oppose this. We believe that a person living with HIV AIDS has the right to disclose, but not to be enforced to, to disclose. The proposal by civil society organization to include the interests of homosexuals in the regional law was outrightly dismissed by the regional lawmakers, basing on the fact that partner states are against the practice. Jingo Francis, NTV, Inichigari, Rwanda.